Hey everybody, in this video we're going to talk about how to modify airfoil sections inside VSP. So if we go to the Modify tab, we have this available to us for any wing type component in VSP, and that's going to be a wing geometry or a propeller geometry. This is not available in things like fuselage and stack. But here we can modify the airfoil shape. And specifically if we look at this view and then this projection of it here in the model, we're going to see how changing these parameters affects the behavior. So when we're talking about shifting X over C, we're shifting these coordinates in X relative to the airfoil. Now we've given this about 10 degree incidence down at the root, so you can see that as we move this around, it's moving along the chord line. So shifting X over C doesn't shift in X in your global space. This doesn't care. This is just moving around how this airfoil is built. Same thing with Y over C, it's changing the Y coordinates of the airfoil. Let's set that back. Theta is going to change your pitch angle about the origin of your airfoil file. And then scale is going to change that 0 to 1 airfoil representation. And that's just going to make it bigger or smaller. So you can set that back to 1. And then finally, you can shift the leading edge of these coordinates. Now, shifting the leading edge isn't changing where the zero location is within the airfoil. What it's doing is it's changing the location of this feature line attachment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off clipping, and we're going to look a little bit at the leading edge with a hidden view. And I'm going to start to sneak this around, and you can see how this starts to behave. So it's an odd shaped thing, and you might wonder why you would ever, ever use this. But imagine if you had an airfoil station where the leading edge wasn't actually positioned to where the front of the airfoil happened to be. So imagine if you have an airfoil file that's pre-pitched at a certain angle, the zero location might not be where you want it to be. You can come in and slightly change where this leading edge position is, and you can set where that feature line happens to go and set it to where you want the leading edge to be. So that's another control that you have access to. So in another video we're going to talk about how to modify your closures on the leading edge and the trailing edge of your foil. That's going to take a little bit more time so we're going to cover that separately.